What's up you guys, welcome to XJ Jesse's channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to drain the transmission fluid and replace the transmission filter on your X300, also known as an XJ6. So let's get to it. Pull the center lever up to engage the emergency brakes and shock the rear wheels. Raise the vehicle up with a floor jack and support it on jack stands. Place a 2x4 on the floor jack to protect the frame. Some transmission pans on the XJ6 are equipped with a H5 drain plug. If yours has one, remove it and drain the fluid. If yours doesn't, skip this step. Remove the rotary switch protection cover. Use a 10mm socket and a 10mm wrench. Remove the transmission dipstick tube nut. Use a large adjustable wrench. This hex nut is on hella tight. Use a floor jack handle to slide it over the wrench to give you more leverage. Remove 6 transmission pan bolts. Use a 10mm deep socket and a 3 inch extension helps on the exhaust side. Pay close attention to the bolts, the side ones are different. Now with the pan down, remove the transmission filter. The filter has 3 T25 torque bolts. Check out how dirty the filter is. The filter comes with an o-ring seal. Make sure that it comes out and it's not stuck on the transmission. Remove the old gasket. The purpose of the metal magnets is to collect metal shavings from the transmission. This is from the two magnets that I just wiped clean. Spray down the transmission pan with brake cleaner and wipe clean. Install new O-rings on the transmission filter. Spray down the bolts with brake cleaner to remove any dirt from the threads. Install the new filter and torque to 6 foot pounds and clean the mating surface. Hand tighten the bolts all around. Using a crisscross pattern, torque down with 10 foot pounds. I just hand tightened them snug, no need to over tighten. Refill the transmission fluid through the dipstick. Pour 4 quarts of Dextron 3. The brand is your preference. Start the car and check for leaks. Let the engine idle until it reaches normal running temperature, then shift into every gear for about 5 seconds. With the car running and no longer on jack stands, check the transmission fluid level. If it's low, add some more, then shift into every gear before rechecking the level. The transmission fluid should be above the hot line.
All right, you guys, if y'all found this video helpful, please select the like button. Thanks for watching. And I'll also be leaving a torque spec chart in the video description. So check that out. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Late.